Hey folks, um, this is Zach Lowe, and I wanted to walk you through my process for setting up a class in my MCPS classroom. Um, as you can see, I am on the dashboard page, which is where you can find the tiles for your classes. The class that I'm going to be working with today is the Honors English 9A class. Um, when you're on this page, if you want to do some personal um, sort of changes here, you can control the color for the class. Um, as you can see, you can change things around a little bit. You can also add in your own name if you wanted to, which changes just what the students see there. It doesn't change the actual course name, just sort of a nickname for the class. So that's one of the ways that you can bring in a little bit of personalization. There's also a way to upload a picture that we'll show here. Um, and if we have time, maybe I'll show you that in uh, just a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter the class here. Uh, I haven't done anything in this tile yet, so it's wide open um, and it's unpublished. So the first thing that I want to work with is taking all of this here on the side and trying to streamline it, get it down to maybe five options so that the students aren't overwhelmed with a bunch of stuff that frankly they're probably not going to use throughout their experience in the class. So. Uh, if we go to settings, that'll give us an option. This is really the main space for determining what students see when they enter your tile. So as you can see, there's a list here of things that students will see on their left-hand menu screen. So everything here is what's going to be here. Now, I'm going to try, like I said, to get this down to just a few key options. So there's some things that I'm not going to be using. I'm going to click on this and go to disable, and that will remove it from students' view when they enter my class. So this looks pretty good. This is probably all stuff that I'm going to be using to some capacity. I want to make sure that I save this. Now, if I want to double check and see what this is going to look like for the students, I can go over to the left hand of the screen and click Student View. And you'll see that over here, there's just really not a lot. It's been way simplified. And ideally, this is going to help our students to know where they need to go and highlight the main resources for them. So I'm going to leave Student View. And again, at any time throughout this process, if you want to see what the students are going to see, student view is your best option. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is set up a home page. And again, you should have seen a template that we have shared that gives some suggestions on how you can organize this in a way that is not only personal, but gives a really streamlined entry into your classroom space. So the first thing that you can do is title um, your homepage. And I can put homepage here. You do not need to repeat that text in the text box because otherwise it's going to double up on the screen. Um, depending on how crazy you want to get with banners or pictures and things like that, that's really up to you. But I am going to quickly just show you a, an easy way to bring in a banner. So if you find something that you would like to uh, use, I'm going to use this great Wooten picture here. I'm going to uh, left click or sorry, right click and go to copy image address. And then I need to go back and click on this embed image icon. If I then paste that there, it's going to put that picture right in my space. And now I've got it. Now I've got a banner. And that's it. That's all that takes. Um, it's a really nice way to add a little personal flair to your uh, home page. Um, I probably won't be using just a picture of the school for mine uh, once I actually go through and set this up, but that's that's what I'm going to start with now. So the other thing that we need to do is put in just a few key bits of information, and ideally we're all going to be using the same 
essential stuff on this homepage so that students, when they go to every class, have a similar experience. Um, that doesn't mean that you can't personalize it in ways that you see fit, but that this basic information is going to be there. So um, you could bullet this information if you wanted to. Um, I'm going to present it in a little table just to kind of keep everything nice and neat. So in the first place, I'm going to put a Zoom link for my class along with the meeting ID and the password to get into that space, okay? The next thing that I want to do is give my email and office hours. And for now, I'm just going to write Wednesday here. The other tab is going to be for how to access course materials. Now, this is another place where you can do a little bit of your own um, personal personalization here. Um, what, we're, what we would like to suggest is that you link either a document or even a screencastify, something similar to what I'm doing right now, that gives students an understanding of where things are. So if you tell students to go to modules, what is modules? What should they see there? What, what important things will be there? If students are going to look under assignments, what's going to be in assignments? How should they upload assignments? Things like that. So this is almost going to, not a syllabus, but basically how do I interact with your class? That's what you want to link here. Um, I think a video, a screencast, is a really great option because it allows you to sort of click through my MCPS classroom and show them around personally. Um, Screencastify is very easy to use um, and uh, it, it might be a good option. But again, if you just want to link a Google Doc that sort of says, under announcements, you'll find this. Under assignments, you'll find this. If you need to turn something in, go here. If you need to find feedback, go here. That's something that can go on this tab. And we think that that's going to be something that's going to really help our students um, because they're, they're all going to need to approach each class in somewhat different way. So as long as that information is on the front page, they can always access it easily. The last tab here is really sort of uh, an optional space for you to either add a photo of yourself um, or to add an essential link for the course. So for me, um, I'm really uh, interested in uh, linking the Media Center because I am uh, in the, I'm going to search for Wooten Media here. Uh, I'm in the English department and I send kids to the media center all the time. So I want to make sure that I have a link to, um, to that information uh, on my front page. Media center and then I'm going to add the link with this little link button here. So I have my text highlighted. Go here paste the link, and now that's there for the students, okay? So again, with a little bit of playing around, you know, this can, this can get to be more appealing visually. Let's see what I have so far. I'm just going to save this. So again, you know, this is not the most beautiful setup, but it gives you a sense of, of what students are going to see as they enter the uh, the course now one thing that's really important once you have this home page set up is that you go up here you want to uh, use this as your front page so you need to publish it and then click use as front page this is essential because otherwise students won't get this and the idea is that this is the very first thing our students are seeing when they enter our tile on my mcps classroom so i'm going to click use as front page now if i go back out to home so what i want to do on this side of the screen is go to choose home page and that's going to give me a choice from what I've published so far. 
and we all want to make sure that Paige's front page is our home page. Once you get you have your Paige's front page as your home page and you make this selection, everything is going to snap into place for the student. So I'm going to save this. Now if I go to student view, you're going to see that this is the very first thing that students see. So if I'm in dashboard and I go to my class, there it is. Okay, you're going to see everything here. Students have their Zoom meeting link right on the front page. You know, it's right early in the morning and they need to get to class. All they need to do is go to your tile and there's the link right there. Um, if they need to email you, they can see when you're available, but they also have a link to your email right here. Um, and then obviously these other uh, materials that are going to be very helpful in terms of how to navigate the space, but then also some sort of key link, something that's essential. If it's an AP class, where I have Media Center, maybe you're linking the college board. Maybe you're linking test prep materials. Um, it's totally up to you what, what you think should go there. But again, we're asking that you really keep things simple. There's very little information on this screen. There's no place to get lost, really. And that's what we want to make sure that we're doing for our students. So another thing that I like to do is set up um, a picture for the tile because I think that's a nice way to create, um, you know, a sense, of, a sense of community. Again, it's part of the sort of feel and, and atmosphere and vibe and tone of your course. So I'm gonna go to choose image. Um, and here you can either use Unsplash, which allows you to search for images that you can just quickly sort of plug in. And now that's going to be the tile uh, picture or you can go in and upload something from your desktop. Okay. Now, once I save that, you can go and see that under dashboard, my tile is now personalized. So I've not only chosen the color, but I've also chosen the picture. So I'm going to go back in here and the last thing that I would need to do to get this all up and running is to simply publish the course. Okay. Um, So this is published now. Um, if we go into settings, another thing that we can control is when the course starts and ends. So if we want to start it on the 31st, that's good. And then we can go up through January 29th, end of the semester. And again, update course details. And we've, we've got everything pretty much as it should be now. So finally, just go back into student view. Again, I've got my home page with my key information. There's a lot of different ways that you can personalize this, make this look more like you. This is certainly not my final uh, copy. This is just a quick draft to get you going. Um, I hope that this is clear and, and, and helps to simplify some of these key steps in making the experience for our students more streamlined and accessible. Um, and that's really all I have for you today. Uh, use each other. A lot of people have different uh, experiences with this stuff, and there's some really cool things you can do. But it's not always 100% intuitive. And uh, in terms of finding the creative little hacks, I think there's a lot of room for all of us to sort of learn more this year and to learn from each other. So anyway, I hope that this helps. Be well, be good, take care.